You guys, check this out. I just built an entire wooden computer with the Glowforge here. All of the parts, all the specs, about seven hours worth of work. We're going to need to assemble this. I need to print off the acrylic still, and then we'll be good to go. All right, you guys, so let's discuss this for a second. I've got actual removable parts for this uh, computer that I'm building. I've got a removable power supply that's gonna be its own separate brick within the computer itself. It's gonna be awesome. As you can see here, I've got the RAM sticks here. Those are gonna go right into this slot right here on the motherboard. And then right in these two slots, we got two 20, uh, 2080 Ti graphics cards. I just put my FSC logo on there and then I just threw an 8 terabyte hard drive in there just for the fun of it and that's going to be removable as well. Um, and then obviously I can glue this down if I want to, if I never want to take it apart. And then this is going to be my first inlay um, that I've ever did. Uh, this is an acrylic inlay into wood for the actual outside glass um, casing here. And then the two holes on the cata corner are going to be just these little uh, push pin screw holes here. As you can see right here, these are little um, push pin holes that I'm going to make for screws. Um, those are also going to work into the, uh, the motherboard here. As you can see, there's a hole right there, right there, 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 and right up there. So... Five of those are going to go on the motherboard, two are going to hold the case onto the side, and as you can see, I did all custom engravings for the back here. I'm not going to actually have the graphics cards go through the back because I can't engrave on the side of the graphics card. So I'm going to make it look like an optical illusion, like they're plugged in. You can see the back, same thing with the ports over here. Um, I made all the ports for the back and the little grate for the uh, exhaust. Um, and then I did the same thing with the power supply here we've got uh, my logo on the side that's going to be facing out the fsc logo on top of the fan the exhaust port fan the plugins the switch um, all of the fans on the graphics cards even down to the little tiny screws onto the hard drive um, i did all of this by hand custom drawing this thing is going to turn out so awesome so I'm going to go ahead and build this. I'm not going to do it on camera, and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end result here. All right, everyone, so a quick update. I did uh, quite a bit of different testing here. So these were a lot of the original parts here, like the two graphics cards. Um, here's the memory, and here's another stick of memory here. So what I did is I updated these graphics cards. I printed a second one of these, but reversed, so it was on this side. So you can see both the top and the bottom whenever it's in the case like this over here. You can see it right there on the bottom and then right there on top. So I made it that way just because it's stacked like that um, because you can't really see it when they're both pointing down then you just see this wood that's exposed. So that's um, just a mirrored image there. And then um, I increased the width of the uh, slot here just a little bit because these were still snug but they were kind of loose and I want them to be tight where they're not going to fall out. They are kind of hard to get out now because I did put them pretty tight but obviously I'm not going to actually be playing with this when pulling them in and out. Um, that's not what I'm going to make this for. Um, the next thing would be the RAM. I updated the RAM. I added a score line right at the bottom. Um, you can't see it because I actually got it in, the, uh, in here. But there's a small score line. You can kind of see it there. Um, just to make it look more realistic, but when you're in there, um, you're not really going to be able to tell the difference. So I actually just used the bottom of my rubber tip hammer and then I pounded those into there because I made them real nice and snug because these over here were so loose that whenever I turned the computer straight up, they would fall out. So we don't want that. So now they're nice and snug. You can always reduce the width of it if you want to. I'd probably reduce it by like 0 .003 if you want it to be a little bit looser so you, it's still snug. Um, but I'm going to leave them right where they are so you have to use the end of that rubber tip hammer. And then what I did is uh, I increased the width of this hard drive here um, on the, the machine. So that hard drive is actually right here. And then you can actually just 
pull that out like this. It just comes right out like that. And then it slides right back into place. It's kind of hard to do, and I'm sorry if the camera is shaking, it's hard to do while holding the camera here. And then it just slides right back into place there, just like that. And then um, what I did after that is I made this solid state hard drive because it can't be a gaming laptop without a solid state dr hard drive. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna do that um, and add it here. So what I did is I just made like this little bracket and then the reason why there's a cut here is I was gonna use a longer pins because the side of the computer, this side of the computer wasn't holding on from these pin holes here. Um, so I made longer pins, these little longer pins here to try and attempt that and then it slid into the side right there of that bracket and as you can see here I made a, a solid one here with no bracket and no like a uh, hole that the pins would slide in because the pins weren't working out um, what we ended up doing is I took the lid and then I made this like custom L suction bracket that you glue on and uh, Originally, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to create score lines, but what I did is I just dropped it all the way to the edge of the glass so you don't need score lines and you know exactly where to glue it. And then this lip right here is where that solid state hard drive is, so that's why it needs to be a little bit thinner here. And then this right here, this missing section, holds in that power supply, so that allows the power supply to be held in by the top here and by this edge. So you can hold the computer upside down and that power supply that's free floating right now won't fall out because the hard drive is right here holding this side and this bracket and this top bracket. So as you can see, right here's the power supply on the left here. Um, and I attempted to make this kind of snug here so it holds this power supply into place um, if you're turning it like left or right. But obviously, if I turn this upside down still, it'll fall out. And as you can see, it's loose. That's why this suction bracket is going to hold it into place. Um, and then you guys didn't really get to see the back that much. But as you can see, I got all those ports. And then I even got the grate for the power supply that kind of just sits in there, which turned out really awesome. Um, and then for the front, all I did is I glued on this uh, little Fresh Start Customs gaming fans here. So that turned out really awesome. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on the side and I'll show you this suction amount here. Um, so all it's gonna do is you're gonna just lay that into place and then it pops right into place just like that. And now, as you can tell, I can turn this upside down and that power supply won't fall out of there. No parts are gonna fall out. They're all nice and snug. And that's the entire um, computer machine there. Turned out awesome. Um, so that's the entire machine. Obviously, if I want to, I could make another um, panel for this side to cover up some of these like uh, motherboard screws, but I'm gonna just leave that because you normally don't look at that side of the computer anyways. Um, so this turned out amazing. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Obviously, um, the new file that I'm gonna put out won't have these two screw holes here um, that I originally planned on doing because that didn't work out this suction bracket's gonna work way better. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you guys next time and hopefully with another really cool project like this. We'll see you then.